So right now I am working on the tail lights of this flatbed. If you guys are new to the channel, I took my 2001 Dodge Ram bed and I cut it so now it looks like a welding bed. It wasn't my intentions to make it a welding bed, but it's coming out like a welding bed. And I'm rigging up some tail lights for it. We still have to get reverse lights. So I am going with the oval lights. Um, I've already cut and put the grommets in. And let me tell you what, from the back end, it's gonna look sick once we do get the tail lights in. But I'm just wiring up the lights so the reverse lights actually work. That's where we're at right now. Let me know what you guys think. I've already started welding in some of the plate for the bed, so you'll see majority of that in this video of me cutting and welding. Um, I do have to go get some flap discs because I wanna smooth down some areas that are too high that I cut with a grinder. Um, and it's gonna be a lot easier than trying to get in there with a the cutoff wheel um, to cut them. It's just gonna be easier with the flap disc just to go over real quick and it'll smooth it out. And I need it for the welds too, because I'm not a professional welder. This is not supposed to be a welding rig, like I said. So if you guys are new, don't think I'm a professional welder. Uh, making this bed. I'm I am not I have five thousand dollars right here to kick off the brand new soot empire design I want to show you guys my appreciation this weekend through Sunday Everyone that orders anything on the website doesn't matter if it's this brand new clean ass soot empire design We got the new logo on the front And we got the se on the back as well. We also have some brand new soot empire decal so it doesn't matter if you order a shirt a decal whatever it is everything on the website everyone is gonna get some cash in their order it could be a dollar it could be a hundred dollars a couple people are gonna be getting a hundred dollar bills in their order this weekend only through Sunday go head over to deepandiesel.com get you some merch and get you some cash let's get right back into the video so here is the bed with the tail lights in I think it looks really good Man, it's gonna look even better with the uh, the reverse lights. They're gonna be white reverse lights, and then we'll wire that in too. It's gonna come out sick. It's gonna look really good. Um, it already does starting to look good. If you guys missed last video. I didn't tack this in last video, but I cut it out, and that's gonna be where the fuel is. This is what I'm talking about right here. It's, it's overhanging the main part of the bed as smooth as I can and as close to the bed as I can so I can easily weld that. Um, but yeah, I've got that part tacked in. But I think we can get a lot of stuff done in this video. And uh, first starting off with the tail lights, I actually bought these from the local mini mall. Two lights with a wiring harness and a wire loom for uh, $12.99. You can't beat that. They had one light there um, for $15. Yeah, it's crazy, but I found this pack for uh, $12.99, and I think it's looking good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did I make a good choice going with the uh, oval lights, or should I have went with a different style? I tried to level it as best I can. Uh, I think they are pretty dang level and symmetrical, so uh, the tough part is trying to get the other lights to line up and uh, look symmetrical to those brake lights. Front uh, marker light isn't in, so it's blinking fast, but it still works.
What's going on guys? It is the next day. I am putting this Harbor Freight welder through its freaking paces, welding up the sides of this flatbed. I went ahead and just mocked up the fuel tank and I think it's gonna work. Um, the only problem is when I go to get fuel, I'm gonna have to flip the nozzle upside down to be able to get it to fit into there. But I mean, that, that's, that's nothing, man. I think this is gonna work. Door shuts. I just gotta make sure that this fuel cap is right like this or it won't shut. But it's missing a grommet. But uh yeah, that that's gonna work. And all I have to do is just cut down the fuel lines right there and insert them, put the uh, clamp back on and man this thing's gonna be good to go so this part is fully welded in except for the cab corner right there um i'm gonna have to either lift the bed off or move the bed to be able to weld that so we're gonna leave that for now but i'm super happy that i was able to get that mocked in i do have to drill holes in the back because this part right here the fuel neck actually screws into the plastic and i was hoping i was going to be able to use the original hole and just flip this whole plastic piece around and then it would just look just like this um, I ended up having to cut a new hole all I did was literally just take a drill bit I didn't have a hole saw so I just took a drill bit and then reamed it out and it fits good made a little mistake right there but no one's gonna notice when you got that fuel cap on but boom there it is I am loving that and I know you guys are gonna say when it rains what's gonna happen well, when it rains, everything's going to collect in the bottom right here. And nothing's really going to get in the fuel cap unless this whole thing fills up. But it's going to overflow through that ring before it even gets into the fuel tank. Just got to drill some holes in there and we should be good. that water's gone now so we'll be good if it rains uh, we're not gonna get any water in the fuel I was originally thinking that is gonna go right in the middle of that plastic piece but then the fuel neck wouldn't have worked so I put it right there and that works perfectly man I am loving that so now we got to do a lot more welding welding takes a lot more time than you guys think especially with the sheet metal you got to go one Basically, you're just tacking it over and over and over and over again. Uh, but last night, man, we got those uh, brake lights in. Um, the tail lights, the LED, I'm getting, okay. So these aren't LED. I picked these up really freaking cheap, man, 12 bucks for the both of them. Um, it looks like they're incandescent. I'm not sure if I'm able to open this up. If I am if I am able to open this up, I could probably just swap out that incandescent bulb with a LED switchback or something, but this is not LED. Um, 12 bucks for two of them. You look online, you get 12, you get two of them. Um, I guess LED is a little bit different. LED is a little bit more, but you go on Amazon, you're looking at $25 for two of them. Um, I picked these up for 12. So the brake lights aren't LED, but I am getting LED reverse lights. They're gonna be here on Wednesday, and then we'll go ahead and cut this out and fit those in. We'll have LED reverse lights that should be pretty bright so I can actually see when I'm reversing. I guess, uh, Let's go ahead and start. You guys saw how much freaking Bondo is on this uh, panel right here. Man, there was so much I was covered in Bondo. But I think the next step is to weld this part in, uh, finish welding this up, and then we can move along to this side. I'm gonna have to cut it down some more. Actually, maybe not, I can just tilt that down. All right, that's pretty good. I gotta trim up a little bit 
but uh and i gotta weld that so it doesn't doesn't move looks like someone already tried welding it uh right in there but yeah we're gonna get that plate in that plate in and then after that i should be able to knock that out today um after that all we would have to do is do the wheel wells and then do some bending right here to cover the original tail light gap and then make it connect right there and right there um but other than that hopefully we'll be able to get it but hopefully we'll be able to get this done this week and then we can prep it to get bed linered i think i'm gonna go ahead and get the spray on raptor liner let me know if you guys used that before um all you need is an air compressor aha uh -huh, might come over with his air compressor and then we can tape off the truck tape off everything that doesn't need to get bed linered and then we can you know obviously prep this thing first get all the old paint and whatever kind of bed liner they used before off of it and then we'll go ahead and spray everything that is flat so the whole bed's going to get covered all these plates are going to get covered we'll tape it at this line and then we can um if we are going to bondo we'll bondo it first and then spray it with bed liner if i wanted to bondo the uh, the sides right here to make it look good um, and then we'll spray it with bed liner we'll, you know we'll drape off right here spray the whole thing and I think after that this thing will look good I'm already super excited that I'm moving right along with uh, the fuel tank the fuel tank was uh, a big concern to me but it actually went smoother than than I thought so uh, I'm gonna get back to work start cutting some more sheet metal I'll uh, start welding it in right here and uh, we'll move right along with this flatbed. There we have it the reverse lights are in i do have to do a little bit of trimming right here um, i actually put these in a bad spot if you guys are going to be doing this to your bed and you want to do lights like this um this was no problem there was a bracket behind that that i think held this part to the side i'm not sure that was pretty easy to cut through um the spot that i put these reverse lights was probably a bad spot i guess what i'm trying to get at is the bracket that holds the bed to the frame i had to cut into it so um you can see right here this side is a little bit pushed out than this side i have to go back and trim the back of that so this is able to um go back farther so this one still needs a little bit of grinding down um this one is pretty good um that one and then obviously the uh the brake lights but we'll come back out here at night and see how bright these um, LEDs are. Ordered them on Amazon, got here in two days. So um, yeah, we made some progress with that. Wasn't too hard to cut out the holes. Just used the angle grinder the whole time. Probably wasn't the cleanest thing to do. What I would do is I would take a hole saw, the same curvature as the sides of the uh, light, drill a hole, drill a hole, and then just cut with the angle grinder to make it the cleanest. Um, but I don't have a hole saw, so. So if they look off, they probably are. Um, that's the best I could do with what I was working with. I posted a video on TikTok explaining I, you know, got the uh, fuel tank situation figured out. And as you can see, it goes down and then it goes back up. A lot of people were concerned about the flow. How am I going to get fuel in there with that kind of angle 
Well, what I could do is I can cut it wherever I want to, probably um, right here after it tapers, and then get a hose, hose clamp it, and then just go straight to the tank so there's not a dip. A fuel nozzle is gonna be pushing the fuel out. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with the fuel pump not being able to push that and overcome that little bit of dip to go into the tank. Hey, I may have a problem when I go to fuel up and then we'll fix it then, but for now, um, I think it's good. You just have to cut those lines. We'll probably do that another day. Okay, before we go any further with this flatbed build, the plans are to obviously bedliner this thing. A lot of you guys are saying I need to bedliner it. We are gonna bedliner the top of this bed. I think I said it in this video already. I asked you guys if Raptor liner was good. Uh, thinking about getting that, but the whole thing's gonna get bedlinered. Um, but before we go any further with this flatbed, I wanna ask you guys something. I'm gonna put a poll on my community tab when this video posts. Go vote on it. This is gonna determine what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. So one option is going to be leaving the truck or leaving the bed how it is right now with the wheel wells, how they are right now. I'm gonna go ahead and weld the plate in right there to cover up you know, the gap that it made. Now option two is something that a lot of you guys have been requesting and it is to cut the fenders down. Cut the wheel wells down so it's not a hump. Now what I'm thinking is um, maybe come up two inches high and cut it all the way around and then weld plate in on top of that. That wasn't really my first option to do with this truck, but I know a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to do that to the wheel wells because I guess some of you guys don't like it. I like how it looks right now. I'll leave it if you guys don't really care. But if you guys want me to cut them down, I'm gonna make a poll on my community tab. So go ahead over there and vote because it's gonna determine what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Am I gonna be cutting them down or am I gonna be welding plate in? Uh, obviously I'm gonna weld the plate in, the flat plate. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough metal. I may be able to have enough metal to do, do that with the old sides. But if I don't, I'll have to run to Home Depot or a tractor supply or something and get some plate to go in right there. Um, so yeah, I think it'll look good either way, but the vote is on you guys. What should I do? Um, but that's gonna be it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I know this series is going on a lot longer than I anticipated. You know, I just keep finding things that I need to do and it's been raining and it's getting dragged out, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done that you guys don't think of. You know, you. You probably just think, oh, you can just cut it down, weld it, uh, bed liner it, and, and it's done. Well, it takes a long time to do all that stuff. And it takes a long time for parts to come in. These took a couple days to come in. The bed, li the bed liner is going to take a couple days to come in. If I was going to do this all in one video, you guys would probably wait you know, two weeks for another video. So, um, well, I appreciate you guys watching. I guess we'll wait on the poll to see what I'm doing tomorrow. But I'll, I'll go ahead and weld this plate in. Uh, we got this side in. I'm not sure if I showed you close up, but I still need to grind it down. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Go head over to dippindiesel.com for your Soot Empire merch. Like I said, every single order starting when this video drops is getting cash in their order. It could be a dollar, it could be five dollars, could be two dollars, could be fifty dollars, could be a hundred dollars but every single order is getting cash, a brand new design. I love this design um, and I hope you guys do too. So thank you for watching, stay tuned and we will finish up this, this bed, hopefully soon. Dip a diesel, out.